the most okay. welcome to ask the question okay sorry because i want to i, I don't want to expose uh, my question is uh, what is hidayah and why hidayah only come to certain people when there are some people who supposed to have chance to get hidayah like my parents relative are mostly muslim but my parents don't get hidayah and i think uh, uh, i i uh, most people call uh, say to me that uh, you have hidayah and that's the hidayah but i don't get it why me and what is hidayah exactly Sisters ask the question, what is the meaning of the word Hidayah? In Arabic, Hidayah means, it means guidance. Means your friends are telling you, may you be guided to the straight path. And giving Hidayah, giving guidance is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Almighty God is the one who guides people to the straight path. But Allah doesn't okay, He likes your faith, He gives you Hidayah, He doesn't like your faith, He doesn't give you. It is all based on the teachings of the Quran. Allah says in Surah Ankabur, chapter 29, verse 69, that all those who strive in His path, He will open up His pathways. So if you strive for the truth, sister, you will inshallah get Hidayah, you will get guidance. And the true Hidayah is coming closer to knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that there's one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Sister, are your parents Muslim or non-Muslim? Uh, Non-Muslim. But uh, my mother's family is mostly uh, Muslim. Your mother's family is Muslim and your father's family is? Uh, they're all the Muslim in the beginning and their father uh, Baptist all the child and you sister what are you you're Muslim or non-Muslim uh, my status is non-Muslim but I know and I believe that there's one God and yes, Nabi Muhammad uh, the messenger of God Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God yes mashallah so that means sister you're a Muslim yeah would you like to say it in Arabic? Uh, not yet. Not yet. My yes. request to you, sister, would be that you read the translation of the Quran. Yes. Uh, and you read the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. Understand more of the religion. And as long as you are convinced that there is one God, and you are convinced Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, you accept Islam soon. Don't wait long, because we don't know how long will we live. Do you know, sister, how long will you live? No, I don't know. So even I don't know. So you cannot say, okay, maybe after one year I'll accept Islam, I'll study more. If you are convinced there is one God, and if you are convinced Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, you have to accept fast. And the knowledge will be coming more slowly, and the practice will be coming, because you don't know how long will a person live. But if you are not convinced that God is one, and if you are not convinced that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Islam, don't accept Islam. But if you are convinced, my request would be accept fast, get more and more knowledge and start practicing, that's better. Uh, okay, I understand, but I need more time. Inshallah, you read, Inshallah. I would request you to read the translation of the Quran. And Inshallah, like your friends tell you, I'm telling you too, may Allah give you hidayah, may Allah give you guidance, and may Allah open up your heart to the truth of Islam. Hope that answers the question. Thank you very much, sir. You're the most welcome.